The awesome Entourage has been updated to a 2.0 version and I added another child to my family. So let's dive into one of my favorite double strollers and see how it truly can grow with your family. If you're new here, I'm Emily, I'm the Stroller Mom, I'm a mom of three, and I provide honest reviews from a mom's perspective of strollers that I test with my three kids. If you find this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe. So the Austin Entourage was already a great stroller before, but now it's even better. They have updated weight capacity, they made changes to the buckles as well as the harnesses, and have a new magnet feature in the peekaboo window that you're not going to want to miss. So starting with price, this stroller as a single stroller, which includes the seat and the market basket, retails for $1,100. $149.99. If you get it as a double stroller, so with the front seat and a second seat, it retails for $1,299. And if you get it as a sit and stand, my favorite version, it retails for $1,399. Now I do have a $75 off of this stroller code and it does stack on the promotion. So if you do plan on purchasing, be sure to shop through the link in the description. So one of the things I love about the Austin Entourage is not only is it a single to double stroller, it is such an incredible quality stroller. Now it's it's heavy. It weighs like 32 pounds without any of the extra accessories on. So it is not a lightweight stroller. However, it does fold super compactly, which I'll show you in a little bit, and it has many different options that make it a stroller that can truly grow with your family. And I'll share some examples about how I use it now as a mom of three and just how it has already grown with my family from even being a mom of two. So I really like that. You can see here we have the single mode, so it has the market basket that you can use, which is amazing for storage. And I love that it expands with the stroller, which is just so cool and so unique. The front seat here does turn into a bassinet and we'll kind of break into that in just a little bit, but this is kind of what you see as a single stroller. But where the stroller is in its prime is as a double. So let me show you that. So while the stroller is not necessarily modular where the front seat cannot face you, the second seat does. So what you can do is expand the stroller here and then you just pop in and I'm telling you, it is so easy. The second seat, and now you have a seat of a child closer to you, which I love. And it has an incredible canopy. You can recline the seat. And the buckles, which I'll show you here in just a minute, are just incredible. So I really like that. Now this second seat can only hold 40 pounds. So that's just something to keep in mind as twin moms is the front seat can hold 65, but the second seat can only hold 40 pounds. That is generally normal on sit and stand strollers like the Vista, the second seat does hold less weight than the front, but it is something to note. So next, let me show you my favorite mode of this stroller. Now my favorite part about this stroller is when it turns into a sit and stand. There are not many sit and stand options out there on the market that are as nice quality as the stroller. And with the second seat now holding 75 pounds at the 2.0 version, you can use the stroller with potentially a seven year old. So you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. So now that you've seen each of the configurations, let's kind of break down each of the features. So like I said earlier, the frame expands. So there's two different options. So the thing I love about that is like in this configuration, when my older ones are not needing to sit, I'll pull it closer and then I have a more compact stroller. That's something super unique because you don't have that option with the other sit and stand strollers. I also love that the handlebar is adjustable. So you can just do the two buttons on the side. It's super easy to use. They have a nice carrying strap. The materials are just so nice and luxurious and comfortable. I also love how high the handlebar is and how much clearance you have as a tall parent. This would be a great stroller for tall parents. And I do compare it to the Vista that's gonna be coming out in a few weeks, so be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And this handlebar is on par, if not a little better, than the Vista's handlebar as far as height goes. Moving on, we have the peekaboo window, and this is something that they've updated in the 2.0 version that I just love, is beforehand it was magnets, mesh, which is great for added airflow, but now they have magnets that hold the peekaboo window open as well as closed. And why I really love this, especially with this stroller, is the seat only faces forward, but with this large peekaboo window, you can still see your child very nicely, even though they're facing forward. So it's just, I love that it now stays open and great for windy days. I really quickly want to interrupt this video to ask you to please like and subscribe. It helps us to be able to continue making videos to hopefully help parents like you find what stroller is best for you. The canopy is impressively large. It has this little extension that you can tuck in or out and it is definitely sufficient for your son needs. <laughs> now, something that is just so wonderful about this seat is it is a full flat recline. So you can put it in bassinet mode. You can lay it down there and then in the feet of this stroller, there is a piece of fabric that comes out and easily attaches here. 
and makes it an amazing bassinet for your baby. This is so much better for your baby developmentally, and I'll show you the car seat adapters, which is also great for quick trips, but I love this for long walks for those early days or if your baby needs to take a nap. So you can see this is just such a nice feature. And then when you're done, you can easily tuck it under. I have found with my two kids, so I have a two-year-old and a newborn, that it's just so easy for me to transition the seat from being used as a bassinet to being used with my two-year-old, just because it all tucks in so easily. I'm not having to take on and attach different pieces. On the seat back, they have a really nice tall seat back super easy to use push up they have a little mesh panel in the back but one of their updates with the 2.0 version is they now have no rethread which i love so that's great like i said from going between my newborn and my two-year-old the straps are just super easy to use and let's talk about these buckles with this new version they now have magnetic buckles and nuna and kalugo and many of these other companies have also added magnetic buckles before this but i feel like Auslan maybe does it a little bit better like it is so easy to use intuitive, user-friendly, and they are just probably one of the nicest buckles I've seen. They also have this really nice leatherette portion on the footrest, which is great for keeping it clean. And you can easily like wipe it off. It handles the kids' shoes really, really well. So something I wanna show you here while we're on this front seat is some of the additional accessories you can purchase for this seat. So the first is a snack tray, which in my opinion is an essential and it just pops on so easily. And it just has a nice cup holder and a snack tray. And then they have car seat adapters. So now you can do two car seats in theory on this stroller. So this is the one for the front and I have the Nuna car seat. You just pop them on so then you can put the seat down. And it was so cool, you'll see here, we just the other day went to like an Easter egg hunt in our neighborhood and I, my baby was asleep in the car seat so we just put her in here and had my older two sit in the back and it was so convenient and nice. I really like this option here. So now you can see it just goes on so easily. You're not having to bend the frame or anything like you kind of have to do with some of these other strollers. And the canopy goes on top as well because it's so wide. There are also our car seat adapters for the back frame. So let me show you how you do those. Okay. So here's the car seat adapters for the back frame. They go on super easily. Your stroller does need to be in the most expanded mode, which I actually already have it in. And what you're going to do is you're going to pop and then pops in. So you can put the car seat up here, which means you can use the stroller with twins using car seats, which is so nice. So you can have a child up here. Okay, let's talk about this configuration with the car seat on top, because it is really cool. If I was traveling right now with my three children, no spouse, or even with a spouse, I would put my baby up here in the car seat, which is great, so I have it for the plane. And when we're going places, I put my two-year-old here, and I could put all of my luggage under here. So the basket alone holds 70 pounds. The stroller collectively can hold 200 pounds. So using those bars, you can put your luggage on. You could put a lot of weight on this stroller. And let me tell you, the push of this stroller is really good. Some other features that they sell that are so great. So be sure to check out their other accessories, but they have like a cargo bag. So if you're a sports mom and you're constantly having to go to sports game or hold your, call your kids sports equipment or going to the beach or things like that, they have some really great accessories that just, it's like a wagon, but you get the benefits of a stroller, having that bassinet mode, having car seat adapters, having a more compact fold, which I'll show you now. It's just a really great stroller. I also love how the sit and stand seat just really does work with your kids way beyond the average time they're usually on a stroller. A lot of kids do not wanna sit in a sit and stand or in a regular seat once they get past the age of three, four years old. Some do, but for the most part, they don't. The sit and stand seat, the freedom they have to be able to get in and out of this stroller is just so nice. So let me show you how to fold it. Okay, so how to fold this stroller. The first thing I'll say is you can fold the stroller with the second seat on it, with the sit and stand, with the car seat adapters, with the snack tray. You have some great options. I think the only ones you can't fold with are the top. Actually, I know you can't. You cannot do with the top car seat adapters, but you can with the bottom. So the first thing you're gonna do is put the seat up and pull it closest to you. Then there's two little levers on the side that are super easy and it just folds down like that. Then there's two little levers here on the side and it locks in place. Do you see how compact this fold is? Like even if you had like the Vista or the Mockingbird, you're still having to stack several seats on top of itself. I also love that you can actually put the handlebar up, take the brakes off, which the brakes are flip-flop friendly, 
and you can like push it around your garage or if you're having to move it, it's just so nice. And being able to push it with the handlebar makes it super easy to get in your trunk. So I'll show a video of that here. Okay, so to set it up, you do wanna put the brakes on and then you're gonna put those same levers up and then you grab the levers here and pull it out. And then if you wanna use the sit and stand seat, you're set and ready to go. I didn't even point this out in the sit and stand seat, but it has cup holders that are great for your children. And sometimes I use them as well when I have my first cup holder full. What would I improve on? It's hard to say because right, it's heavy, but with the heaviness, you get really good quality materials and a really nice push. This push, I have taken it on so many different terrains, wood chips, sand, dirt, grass, concrete, gravel, and it does pretty well on all of them. So that's the thing. I don't know if I'd trade that just for it to be lightweight. Plus it is one of those strollers that really grows with your family. So who's the stroller best for? This stroller is best for families who have kids close in age or maybe don't have kids close in age because you can use the sit and stand seat and want a stroller that's gonna really grow with their family and follow them through for a long time. This stroller is a little bit big for a single stroller. So if you're only planning on having one child, unless you're gonna be hauling things, this may not be the best stroller for you. Is it the right stroller for you? Only you can answer that. So if it is, be sure to shop through the link. Remember you save $75 on top of what other promotions they're adding. And if you have any more questions that I've left unanswered, be sure to comment below and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching.